Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about BTCS film testing for 35mm film. And the film we'll be talking about today is Cantmere 100 35mm. Now, BTCS film testing can be used for 35mm film, so we're testing Cantmere 100 35mm. It has a film speed of ASA 100. Uh, the developer we're developing in it is Ilford DDX. The dilution I'm using is 1 plus 9, so that means 1 part developer, 9 parts water. I'm developing it at 75 degrees in a Jobo processor using uh, 2500 series drums and reels. And this test was done by me. So let's take a look at this. I reduced the number of, of films to test to 4. So we're just going to do a 4 minute roll of film, a 5.5, an 8, and an 11 roll. So again, like in the, if you've looked, watched the other video on 4x5 film, we've got the step tablet and all the steps 1 through 21, the density values for the step tablets, and here we have the density values for the 4-minute test, the 5.5, the 8, and the 11. And let's look at it for the non-technical people first. So first thing we we'll do is look at subject brightness range. We've got a little bit of flare built in there. So the only piece of information you need right here is right here. The normal developing time since a subject brightness range of 7, that means 7 f-stops is our normal. And for roll film, you just develop most of the films for a normal. We've got it's a little bit over 6 minutes, so maybe 6 minutes and maybe 5 or 10 seconds. And the film speed for that would be about 125, right around here. So very simply, the two pieces of information, your developing time is right here, maybe 6 minutes and 10 seconds, and your film speed is right here. ASA 125. That's all the technical information you need to know. But for those more technical, I'll go into a little bit more detail. So again, we have all the data, the, de uh, the uh, density readings for all of the 21 steps for each of the developing times, 4, 5 and F, 8, and 11. I've left off the 16 minute time because if you're, if you're using a hand tag with intermittent agitation, I don't think you want to be inverting for 16 minutes. We're looking for somewhere between 5 and a half and 8 minutes would be a really good number. So again, we have the family of film curves, and you can see each of the individual data points here. So this is the, all these points correspond to the points you saw in the data. So it's actually the density of the reading for the uh, step right here, step one, and then the, dens the density down here is the actual density of the step tablet. And again, for the five and a half, the eight, and the, and the 11. So again, we have all our values here. We have the four minute test. The film speed a little less than 100, and this is the average gradient and the subject brightness range. And for the 5.5, the same, the 8, and the 11. And again, for the people doing roll film, you really only need to do two things. Look at this curve here, which gives you your developing time for that roll of film, and this film speed right here, which you'll set your meter for. Now, I'd recommend when you do a test, first thing you do when you when you all set, take a roll of film just to make sure everything is right so we don't have to do any little modifications or adjustments. But those numbers should work pretty nicely. And again, it's not a lot of work to develop five rolls of film, uh, actually four rolls of film, I'm sorry, for this film test. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about film testing for roll films. Just one other thing before I forget, if you're at a very uh, contrasty scene, like on a beach or something that's got water reflecting or where it's sand reflecting, something like that, what I would do is look at subject brightness range of 8, which is one stop more contrast than normal. So if you're at a scene that has a little bit high contrast, you might actually develop the film for, let's say, 4 minutes and 50 seconds. And let's see what your film speed would be for subject brightness range of 8. I'd probably, it's sort of halfway between, not quite halfway between here. You might set it for 100 and see how it goes. That should give you a good reading. So you've got two different numbers here. One for normal, which is a subject brightness range of 7, and one when you have a subject brightness range that's a little bit more contrasty. And these numbers are f-stops, so 8 would be one stop more contrast than normal, as again, like on a beach scene or something with sand and a lot of glare and reflection. And that would be your film speed would be in between 100 and, and 125. I, again, I would set that for 100 just to be sure. And again, you've got your two readings here for normal and for one stop more contrast than normal. I hope that helps. If you have questions, just please email me. Thank you again for watching.